charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hella whackin' it. Take the bad hits, take the bad hits, start a mix. A subscribe machine for domains. You know, you have to look really deep inside there to find it. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortness Prime here doing another Metacom Mafex action figure review on the Star Wars Stormtrooper figure number 10. Should I pick up one of these? You can do so. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Guess the size of the packaging here is about the same size as most of the other Mafex figures that I've gotten. Uh, not a whole lot of accessories though it looks like. Uh, on the side over here you can see a battle damaged Stormtrooper. It says Star Wars in orange, you get Disney right there, Mafex right over there, and on the back you can see some product shots, and they added Darth Vader to a little setup, looks pretty cool, and a lot of stuff written in Japanese over here, so I don't understand any of that, and then there's the figure right there, and Star Wars Stormtrooper, and then not much more at the bottom. Alright, let's get to it and crack this thing open, and here's a Stormtrooper out of the packaging, and what I'm calling a New Hope squad. I don't know if you guys remember, but when the Stormtroopers first appear in a New Hope, it looks like a bunch of them are doing this kind of squatting march kind of thing, and I'm happy I'm able to get this figure in this pose. It is tricky getting the Stormtroopers from the Black Series in this pose, so I really like the articulation on this Mafex figure. Unfortunately, he does not come with a lot of accessories, but regardless, I really do like the sculpt and the articulation on this piece. So as I mentioned, we don't really get too many accessories with this figure. We get two pairs of interchangeable hands, we get his blaster, and then we get the Mafex stand. Ooh, yeah, a lot of people ask me about which stand I use, and I use the Mafex stands. These are fantastic. The only way you can get them is by buying a Mafex figure, but luckily they include one with every Mafex figure they release. This is articulated so you can turn it right over here, you get this nice clamping motion right over there, it hinges right there, hinges here, hinges here, rotates here, and you could port it into one of these three spots right over here. I have broken these, so you do want to be careful with them, especially because you can use a little screwdriver to tighten these up, and if you tighten them too much, then that's how they'll break, so I'm glad to have a new one right there. Now as far as the hands go, you only get the set of relaxed hands, which look okay, you know, not a big deal. And then you get the blaster holding hands, so you get the trigger finger on the right side right there. You can see little wrinkles in the glove. It looks really nice. And then here's the support holding hand. Really like that. Again, some nice details in those wrinkles. And interchanging the hands is not very difficult. And then here is the blaster. Looking pretty nice. Some nice little detail right over here. I think it looks pretty good. Nice. Nice and pointy right over there for the sight. So I like that. And then for your blaster comparison, here it is next to a Black Series Stormtrooper blaster. So maybe this bottom part could have been a little bit bigger, I guess. And he has this holster right here for the weapon storage, which I'm not a huge fan of. I feel like this could have been just a little bit wider and it would have made it just a little bit easier to get this thing in here. Ah, uh, yeah, slip it right in. That's what she said. And then just port that right there. And then now you have the blaster right there inside the holster with my voice cracking and all. So I feel a little bit reluctant to say this, but at this moment in time, today, I feel like this is the best helmet sculpt I've seen on a 6 inch scale Stormtrooper figure. I really like this helmet sculpt a lot. Uh, comparing it to the Black Series one right there, you can see the side by side. I just think this one looks a little bit better. The Black Series one just looks a little too wide. Then comparing it to the Bandai America modeling kit, which still looks really good. I don't know actually, this Bandai one you may see, say is the better one, but this band across the bridge of the nose area it looks a little bit too big compared to this one. I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments below. But regardless, I think the sculpt came out looking very good and I really like the paint apps on this. I think the paint came out very clean. One thing though is that it does not have the shininess that we get on the Bandai America one. And I feel like the Stormtroopers are supposed to be very shiny, you know, with the plastic. It would be good to see that on this Mafex one. And it does look like it's a little bit of an oil collector because you can see a little bit of, I don't know, just oil and dirt, you know, gathering up on the back of the head over there. But other than that, I think it looks really good. Oh no, I kind of missed just a tiny little bit right over there. Okay, so other than those two things, I think it looks good. Nice silver paint apps right over here. The black paint looks nice, nice and glossy. I like that. Another complaint of mine with this figure is the silver right here on the lower torso. That should be black as opposed to silver. And I do feel like the arms are just a little on the short side. Uh, just comparing it to the Bandai America one, I have these guys standing shoulder to shoulder and the hands just go right down there. So yeah, I feel like the arms could have been a little bit longer on this one. And there's a crotch guard, and knees, but other than that, you know, the sculpt is pretty accurate. The shoes do look a little bit shinier, you know, than the rest of the figure, so I wish most of it had this kind of glossier look to it. No peg holes at the bottom of the feet, it is an import figure. And then looking on the back, you know, it looks pretty solid, I like the holster right there and everything. 
There's a little canister, which does seem a little on the small side uh, compared to the Black Series one, which does have paint on it. This one does not. Let's see, on the Bandai one, ooh, does have paint on it. This one does not. So yeah, I guess I should have added the paint right there. I never noticed that detail before, or I had forgotten about that detail. But yeah, so uh, a couple of shortcomings over here. But I will say, I stand behind that helmet sculpt. I really do like it. So I really like, yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the articulation on this piece right here. You can get the head to look up a reasonable amount, so that's good. It's really hard to see but right in there you can see that he has that little band thing for his neck so it's a little turtleneck piece it tends to get lost inside the helmet but I'm glad it's there you know it does hide the joint every now and then but sometimes it gets stuck so you can't move that upward you can't move his head downward you get side to side movement over here and you do get some head pivot these shoulder pads right here are not necessarily on hinges they're just bendable so you can move them with the arm and you do get this ball joint right there in the shoulders so it can shift forward and back and shift up and down right there from the torso you also get the ball jointed shoulder joint that can allow the arms to move outward you can move them forward there you go so that's really nice you get a bicep swivel in here you get that double jointed elbow you get wrist rotation it hinges up and down well without it popping off there it goes that much you also get a good diaphragm joint over here that rotates side to side great pivot and really good crunch right there you can also move that belt independently which is really cool you also get a waist joint that turns side to side waist pivot over there without it detaching and it crunches forward and back so yeah these parts will detach Mafex is known for that you get this great hinge joint right here in the hip that shifts up and down which allows the legs to do that which is awesome you can do the splits kicks forward very very far get an upper thigh swivel and the knee only bends in that much you get an ankle that moves downward only oh, barely at all you can move upward quite a bit you get rotation and ankle pivot and there is toe articulation so measuring out this stormtrooper he's standing about six and a quarter inches tall and then here's the mafex stormtrooper compared to the black series stormtrooper and the bandai america stormtrooper right over there as you can see right there very nice shiny gloss to it i wish this one had that and then here's the mafex stormtrooper next to the black series darth vader figure and even though this mafex stormtrooper is taller than the black series stormtroopers he's still not at a scale with the black series Darth Vader, which I really like. And then to compare him to another Mafex figure, here he is next to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Mafex Spidey. And then here's the Mafex Stormtrooper next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. God, you guys suck. Why do you suck so bad? You know, nobody is scared of you. Yeah, okay, see, here we go. Oh, no. You guys still suck. So I don't think I can give a strong recommendation for this figure. I really do like it a lot though. There are some inaccuracies. I think the arms could have been a little bit longer, stuff like that. I would have liked the double jointed knees to work a little bit better, especially because it does work better on the Black Series figure. But I really do like the articulation and it's not too fragile. Definitely the Bandai one is more fragile than this one and that one has really good articulation as well. So it's kind of a toss up, man. I do like the figure, but I cannot say it's a must get. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please, it's the like button, click any of these boxes right over here if you want more shark in your face. If you're the age of 18 or older, please check out the Patreon account. Please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later! May the Force be with you. It's a little bit tricky getting him- whoa.